Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. I have to tell you, in one of the greatest body styles ever, I love these cars. Look at the, the effort put into the styling of it, from the flared fenders all the way around. This is the end run of this, and we're talking about 1,420 of these built. 1,420, when you're talking about car manufacturers making uh, millions of cars a year, and when you get into digits like this, okay, so they made 1,420 of them, which is a ridiculously low number. How many are left? How many, uh, really, when you think about it, are, are here at this place still matching numbers with a four-speed, with a 12-bolt rear end, and looking like this? So, I don't know. I just think it's a great car, and I get really excited about it, especially because this is the last run of them, and then there's nothing really performance-wise after these for AMC. All right, so come on up here. All right. You should be able to read all the letters in there. It should make for really nice looking. Uh, this is a digital part of buying a car online that you need to be asking that person to do, all right? The white callouts right here for the striping, highlighting the car. This a car has great eyes, man. Think about it. Take a second and just look at this car. The front end is awesome. It's one of the best looking muscle car front ends ever. And if you want to, uh, we have a chin spoiler we could put on it, which I think would finish this car off and look really, really good. Wheels on this car look great. The BFGs obviously look good. Wrapped in there are disc brakes, power steering, all right? Four speed as you've seen from the pictures already. And uh, let's keep rolling around the car because this is, uh, you know, these are exaggerated in here as part of the styling because uh, as they took these cars to the track, these cars got lowered to the ground, all right? But they still had to have big wheels and tires in there to go road racing. And so they had to make room in here uh, to lower the car, and so they took the inner fender liners out, and they just translated that race car look, right, to this street car, and that's exactly what they accomplished. All right, this great roof line in here, all right, exaggerated bulge here, as we keep rolling around, right, nice big fat spoiler here, all right, AMX call out, all the little touches that make for an AMX different than, say, maybe a Chevelle or a Camaro or a Mustang or something like that, from the colors that they brought, uh, the red, white, and blue, Donahue, uh, Donahoe, Donahue, uh, racing in the early 70s, right? Trans Am cars and stuff like that. If you look under here, which is kind of strange to see, but you got a 12 bolt rear end in there. So they knew this big motor, right? Made a lot of power and throw the four speed in it as well. They were gonna break small stuff. That's why they installed the heavy duty stuff, all right? Keep rolling around. You should be looking at things like, how well does the door fit, right? How well does the fender fit? And how well does the car look overall? Even like little things like this that you can't see all the time in pictures, there's a little piece of spoiler built into the roof right here. All designed to win in racing, but they had to sell them on the street, and that's what they did here. All right, so let's say you want to go to a car show. This should allow you to do that right here. We have the correct color on the engine. A lot of people paint these the wrong color, man. AMC had its own color. AMC was different. That's why you like this car, because it is different. It's not like every other car out there. Got the big 401 call out right there, 401 four barrel. Got the battery topper on here, power steering, all right? This has headers on it. This car's got a little more performance, right, than a stock uh, AMX. You might appreciate that. And it's all kind of restored to original. And uh, that's the way I like it, especially in a really low production number. I, I would find it hard to believe that you'll ever see another uh, vintage color like this, 401 four speed ever uh, in this country. Trunk may not be an important part to you, but it is an important part if maybe you want to go to a show or something like that. The reason I keep bringing up the show is because you're not going to run into yourself there. I love a Chevelle, a Camaro, a Mustang just as much as you do, but when you have a car this rare, the likelihood of anyone ever seeing one is pretty rare and definitely the likelihood of parking next to someone at a car show, uh, unless you're at the 73 AMX uh, only car show. But this right here is really uh, nice because here you open it up, right? Check this out. This is an original 73 uh, jacking instructions, all right, with a part number on it. Jack is detailed and painted the AMC color. It's got a spare tire in it. It's got the trunk mat. The trunk is splatter coat painted like it's supposed to. Just little stuff like that makes for just a little bit nicer collector car. All right. Nothing goes better with a burgundy paint than a tan interior, and uh, here it just clearly says, yes. The styling of this interior is way nicer than most other muscle cars that are out there. Look at the detail on the seats, the way the dash is curved for the driver. This is the weather eye system here for the heat and uh, HVAC stuff. 
Uh, the four speed is nice. The key lockout still works like it's supposed to. Look at all these gauges here, man. You're talking about alternator, fuel, oil, and temperature. 140 mile an hour speedometer, 8,000 RPM tack. The clock is working like it's supposed to. Uh, I don't believe this is the original AMC radio, but it says AMC on the radio. It's kind of cool. And these switches, just like the way they work here. It's just little touch stuff like that that separates this car and makes it a whole lot different. Look how nicely molded the door panel is for the AMX callouts, the machine turn dash uh, piece of trim right there. It's not just a flat door panel with a, with a panel uh, with a handle bolted onto it. Just a little bit different, I think. AMX steering wheel, very sporty looking, three spoke. This is just different, man. It's not like every other car out there. Anyway, I just thought it was cool. All right, so let's close up this video. Listen, we talked about some cool styling features. You already knew it had great styling because you saw the pictures and now that's why you're watching the video. We looked at some of the great features on it. It has got some great features. The interior is awesome, right? It does have a big 401 cubic inch motor. It does have a close ratio four speed. It does have a 12 bolt posi. It may be the only one in existence like this. This could be one of one. I haven't seen any others out there like it, but I don't know that claim. Somebody could be hiding one. I haven't seen one yet. This is it to me, the only one I've ever seen. So I think it's one cool car. I have always loved this body style and it's the last of its run. 73 AMX four speed, 401. Call us 301-816-1000. Get yourself one cool, rare collector car. You know what, a big block uh, car, and whether it's a big block or not, but anything over 400 cubic inches always sounds a little better than, say, the smaller ones.